In this video, I will introduce you with integrated injection logic or IIL or I square L. While discussing the DCTL logic gears, I have shown you that our DCTL logic gears are suffering from current hogging. which makes the DCTL logic gates unsuitable for our logical operation. Therefore, based on DCTL structure, a new logic family has been developed, which is known as integrated injection logic or II square L or IIL. The integrated injection logic is also known as current injection logic or merged transistor logic. There are some features of this integrated injection logic. At first, the IIL logic circuits will use only bipolar junction transistor. The circuit will use only bipolar junction transistor. There will be no circuit element other than the BJT. Okay. Secondly, basic logic units use multi collector NPN transistor. Our logic unit will be NPN transistor with multi collector that means the collector will have more than one terminal we will supply that NPN transistors with PNP transistors our PNP transistor will act as a constant current source therefore this circuit will known as current injection logic our pnp transistor will supply constant current to the base terminal of the multi collector npn transistor and as the circuit use only bipolar junction transistors therefore the circuit will not use any transistor that therefore it will require very small silicon chip area due to the small silicon chip area even we can fabricate a complete microprocessor in a single chip okay as the integrated injection logic circuits use only BZTs that means less circuit components therefore it can be easily fabricated and it will be economical fifth one is that power consumption is low and the speed power product which is a very important property for any logic families speed power product or figure of merit will be constant and it will be very small see around 4 pico joule so therefore we can say that the integrated injection logic is a very power efficient logic family integrated injection logic has propagation delay around 1 nanosecond which is very small and see the power dissipation that means our logic gate will draw only 1 milliwatt of power to perform its logical operation which is very small after that in number 7 you will see that the fan out is 8 that means a single I square L logic gate can drive maximum 8 number of I square L logic gates and you will see that the noise margin of this I square L will be 0.35 as our I square L logic gates use very small silicon chip area therefore it is suitable for medium scale integration large scale integration or VLSI circuits okay that's it thank you